Hey guys, it's Carly again, and today I am here to bring you my horror pack unboxing for the month of June, and I actually didn't realize, I forgot that this was coming, it seemed like it came a lot faster than the first one, time kind of flew, and I actually didn't even watch all of the movies that I got from the previous one, I only watched Priest, which I didn't really care for, it's not my type of movie, but I am excited for the other movies, I've just been kind of slacking on them and sorry if I look wet or anything it was pouring outside so I got rained on coming into the house but yeah I got my mail and I thought it was going to be movies that I had ordered so I kind of opened it a little bit already and I saw one of the movies but I realized like oh these aren't the movies I ordered this must be the horror pack so I did not look through all of them so with that being said I'm just going to go ahead and reveal what I've got First up we have Deathgasm. This is the one that I noticed was in there and I'm actually kind of excited about this one because I've heard good things about it. I think this came out either last year or the year before and I know a lot of people, yeah it came out in 2015, I know a lot of people seem to enjoy this one and have it on like top 10s or top 20s, things like that. So that's pretty cool, gotta check that one out soon. Then next up we have... Scare House. It says pretty deadly. Um, horror pack sign. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've never really heard of this. Looks pretty cool. Um, interest typical revenge film or not your typical revenge film. It says on the back, so that's pretty interesting. Um, the title, uh, the title and the cover look pretty cool. Looks kind of like a must be like a slasher revenge type film, so I'm definitely interested in checking this one out, so that is pretty cool. And then moving right along, we have Killer Piñata. <laughs> this looks really ridiculous. Um, that cover, just, can you see that? Yeah, that cover looks pretty crazy. Um, have never heard of this either, but it looks like a fun time, so I am definitely going to check this one out sooner than later. And then lastly, we have Children of the Corn Genesis. Now, I've only seen Children of the Corn Part 1, 2, 3, and the remake, I believe. And I know a lot of these are really, really bad and um, maybe not unwatchable, but just not that great, and I'm not sure if this is one of the bad ones or a better one, so I'll have to check that out for myself, but I am glad to own this because it adds to my Children of the Corn collection. I definitely have to get around to checking them all out eventually, just kind of suck it up, because that is a franchise that's pretty big and I have not dived into completely yet, so yeah, that's what we have. I'll go back through. We have Children of the Corn Genesis. Killer Piñata, Scarehouse, and Deathgasm. And I don't own any of these movies, and all of them seem pretty interesting to me, so that's pretty exciting. Um, you guys should definitely, once again, like I said in my last horror pack video, um, consider giving them a shot, because if you're new to collecting, especially with Blu-ray, since Blu-rays, are kind of expensive and it's much easier to go out and buy a DVD and find the DVD you want for pretty cheap. Um, I think this this is like $25 a month which some, to some people that might be a little expensive but to me it's kind of cool because you're getting a surprise pack of movies that you may or may not own and if you own them you can give them away to people or resell them or something like that and if you don't own them it's kind of cool to just build your Blu-ray collection which these are movies that I probably wouldn't have even thought about buying because some of them I haven't even heard of, so that's pretty cool. Um, once again, highly re recommend it, and I will continue to be subscribed to Horror Pack for months to come, so I'm looking forward to the next month, and I will see you guys in my next video.